In this video, we're going to use how we uh, see how we can use circular pattern to save us a little bit of time when we've been drawing uh, objects like the one you see here. So I've got this piece I've already drawn. It could be perhaps the base of a lamp or the base of a table or the top of a table. I've got a hole here. I'll repeat that hole five times all the way around here. Now I don't want to spend time getting them right in the correct places. So I'm going to go to create and pattern and circular pattern. Now what I want to do is uh, copy a feature. So an extrude is a feature. If I wanted to, I could change that to bodies and I could, uh, let's say I had drawn a piece of dowel or aluminum tube coming from here and I'd drawn one, then I could make that uh, be repeated five times as well because that would be a body. But this is a feature. Uh, if I hover over my timeline here, they can see my feature, which is an extrude. I click on that. It's going to ask me for an axis or a direction. I'm going to use the circle I've already drawn to give me that. That uh, places three objects down there. I said before I wanted five, so I'm going to change that to five. It equally spaces them out there uh, accurately around that circle. So there's my five spots. I'm happy with that. I'm going to click OK, and that gives me five holes using that circular pattern. Save me a whole lot of time. As mentioned before, if I had a body coming from here, I could also place five bodies. I would just make sure that when I selected the, instead of features, I would select body, select the body, and that would give me five or six or seven or however many I wanted around my piece there.